Welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles, and I have brought Pinky Boo today. Hello. Because she has thoughts. <laughs> we have thoughts on the new Monster High the movie. It was a thing. <laughs> and there are, there are probably some good things about it. We can probably pick a couple good things to be nice. Um, we'll try to find a couple. But there's a lot that's not so great about this film. And they really changed the characters. Thoughts, Pinky? Okay. <laughs> so, well, before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We are, I think, at 276,000 subs. Yay! I'm clapping because you're doing it. Yeah, make sure make sure you're subscribed because, um, you know, YouTube has a tendency to unsubscribe people. So... We watched the movie. We actually had to watch it in two nights because we could not get through it. I didn't even watch all of it, to be honest. It was so bad. I was the one who had to suffer through all of it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't even have words, it's so bad. So we watched the first half and I wasn't gonna watch it, but it was like a train wreck you couldn't look away from. And I'll tell you right now, the characters, the characters are not the characters from the original Monster High. No. And I'm going to tell you right now, do not give me the lame ass excuse that it's for young kids. It's for a new generation. It's for modern audiences. This was not for little kids. This would be for probably about the demographic that's your age. Wouldn't you say, Pinky Boo? Probably. I mean, kids aren't going to know what freaking Instagram is. At least I hope not. Well, no, they probably do. But I'm just like... Why are they on Instagram? Well, a lot of them are. A lot of them like six? Well, they probably are. But the point is, these characters and, the, and the, the story and all that is not for... Like, I wouldn't say, oh, it's Hugh's little kid. That's what they're trying to argue. The cartoon show might do that, but this one does not. The original Monster High was not for little, little kids. You just happen to be a little kid. <laughs> I, I was a little kid, sure, but it was, it was mostly for, like, older kids... Teenager cartoon, I'd say, at least because you know it's timeless. Even as an adult, you can enjoy the originals. As a child, you can enjoy the original. I was, it was a great example of that. I've watched my since I was like four years old. Mm -hmm. I had, I still have. You a have lot the dolls. Of, I still have a lot of dolls. She loves it. This is Pinky Boo is a, an old fan. And she is the target demographic because she started watching Monster High when she was so young. Um, she is the demographic for this movie. And and what is your thought on this movie? Share it. Do you want me to lead? I, there is just so, uh, well, let's should, start with, uh, the, should I do like a basic, like sequence of what? Yes, you can. Spoiler well, a spoiler, warning. spoiler, B very big spoiler warning. So we? yeah, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you continue on this video, I don't want to effing hear it how you were spoiled because we warned you. Here, here, let me just spoiler alert. If you are still watching this and you don't want spoilers, you're just stupid. That's on you. Sorry. Okay. All right. So anyway, go ahead. All right. Make sure you're up in the microphone. There you go. Should I turn it towards me? Yeah, you go ahead. I touched it a little bit. You're hearing outside. noise. That's her. Go ahead. Okay. Monster High, the movie. Calls in session. <laughs> they don't even know how to spell. That's, I think that's a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Well, I remember the original song. It had stuff like that, too. Like, the ma original song was good. The original song was a fun song. And it, it was. was, and it was, it was, you know, iconic song. I have it in my Halloween playlist. You do? I do. Um, okay, so basically, we start out with. I have the mouse. What do you need? Uh, yeah. Oh yes, here I can pull up pictures right here. Uh -huh. So if you go to IMDb, you can come down here and see pictures of the characters. See what Claudine? Claudine. All right. So we start off. This girl, Claudine, who. It looks like they were trying, okay, no, it really, it really seems like throughout the movie they were trying to mix Claudine and Jackson together. Like as one character? Yes. Yeah, because Jackson, Jekyll, and Holt, Holt Hyde were uh, ones that were like a character that was human and it would turn monster. Which we'll get back to Jekyll and Hyde in a little bit, actually. So basically, 
she's half human, half monster. Her dad's human. I don't know what happened to her mom. She probably died or something because, you know, Agnes. Um, and she's like, oh, my God, I want to go to Monster High. And her dad's like, you know they don't accept humans or half humans. Because, you and know, they're like, istophobes. And she's like, I'm going anyways. And then she goes. And, oh, God. She doesn't act like Claudine, though. She's No, she does not. Claudine was sassy, and she fought back. She fought back against Cleo, but her whole thing was like... I think you... Don't be mean. <laughs> I think Draculaura kind of acted more like Claudine, but Draculaura's bitchy. Draculaura, they made her bitchy. Draculaura has the personality of Claudine if Claudine was unlikable. Right, because it's like, I think Claudine's more like Draculaura, and Draculaura's more like Claudine in this, but Draculaura's a bitch. Yeah, Claudine was not a bench. Uh, new Draculaura needs to suck a peach, I mean. She's a total, and I remember Draculaura, it was a sweetheart. Yeah, like, she was a sweetheart, and they got rid of her accent. Got rid of Abby's accent. Mm -hmm. The only person who has an accent is Draculaura's dad, which, why does her dad have an accent? I don't know. It's dumb. And the thing is, they change the characters a lot. Let's look at some other characters. So we have, uh, okay, well, that's that's Abby, who is my favorite character in the show. Here, I got a better picture over here somewhere. That's cool. Yeah, we'll get there in a minute. Abby, who is my favorite character. I loved Abby. Abby was so fun. This is Abby. And Abby is like, a, it seems like a ditz or something now. She's not like at all like Abby yeah, at all. There's a scene where she's playing ball with Heath. And she doesn't know how ball works. Which, like... Yeah, no, it's a foot. She goes, we get to eat it now? Yeah, it was a foot. It was football. And, um... She... She'd be like, she'd in like, my country, monster eat foot first. I can't do her accent. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, she, she wasn't the most intelligent in the other one. But, granted, you did not have, like, any of the stuff they had at Monster High in the Himalayas. You did not have any of that. This, she's just stupid. And then, and then, like they gave her Goya glasses. Yeah, they did. And then let's talk about Goya for a minute. Let's talk about Goya. Remember Goya? You know, do your Goya impression. <laughs> yeah, you know, she was a zombie. She didn't talk, but she was like everybody loved Goya. Goya was like the zombie, but she was a smart one. And she was a gamer, but she moved Facebook. really slow. I had a phase where Gulia was my favorite character. Right. So now Gulia is also a raging bitch. And also, she won't shut up. Mm hmm. She, like, randomly throughout the movie, if, when they're in the graveyard, which I'll get to later, she'll just randomly wake up and be like, yeah, and make a weird comment on whatever they're Like, I'm trying about. to sleep here or something. I'm like, like, I'm trying to sleep here was the one. And then the other one, like, he's totally into you. And then she went back to bed. And I'm like, what the frick? What the frick? Yeah, it, it, this is not Goya. So anyways. Go back to the, the, to the pictures. Yeah, so anyways. Claudine starts school. Yada, yada, yada. She's roommates with Frankie and um, Draculaura. And Draculaura is rude. Like, right off the bat, Frankie's like, I have the brains of all these smart historical figures. And I'm like, I thought... The big point was that they hated humans. How are you going to brag that you're made of all humans right, right. that are important to and humans? And it's like every person, like, you know, every time there's a there's a plot reason for needing some kind of, you know, it's almost like she's like the mascotol. Well, they, you know, are, because, they are the mascotol. I'm sorry, they are the mascotol. And there is a good reason for that because they have parts that are male and female parts. But it's they, like that. Yeah, they it's, have like a... One of the, I don't know why I remember this. They have Shakespeare's spleen, but they're they're talking about all these different and you know major figures in in history or like they're like these smart. They have different gifts or talents. Um, this character has them all. So basically, Frankie's OP. Basically, basically, and and and, and Frankie's cute. Where the fact that Frankie doesn't know what because Frankie's you know. 15 days old or whatever, doesn't know much. And that is kind of cute, but it is a kind Frankie of annoying. Frankie is also socially inept in this. Like, it's like, okay, we get it, you're 15 days old, but have you never even interacted with your parents? And 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 the thing is, it's like every time that they do anything to introduce themselves, it's always they that. So like, I made a joke, I made a joke when we were watching it. I was like, 
Kids are going to see this because every time before Frank asks a question, they say their pronouns, which is like, yes. Having people know that, like, your pronouns are they, them, if it's not what they think is important, I guess. But you don't have to say that before you ask any question. So I was like, Sarah, she, her, mommy, can I have a snack? Yeah, it's pretty much what's going to happen. And the thing is, before these people start having a hissy about my daughter, I will tell you this much. One of her best friends is non-binary. They're pretty cool. Yeah. They're so I'm like, hair. this isn't about, oh, you don't like non-binary people because well, you can no, stick I, it up your ass and twist. I That's not the case. I don't care. About, well, I, I mean, I care about people, but I don't care if people are non-binary. No, we don't. it doesn't affect me at all. No. There's no reason I should be angry. No, we don't have any. We don't. We don't. Judge people based on that. But yeah, Frankie being non-binary makes sense. Uh, I mean... But it was annoying that... Original Frankie was not, but it was kind of awkward. I know that Frankie is socially inept, but it was very awkward seeing, like, raising their hand. It's like, yes, yes, Frankie. It's like, Frankie Stein, they, them. Yeah. Can I use the bathroom? And they kept, they kept doing it over and over. And it was like, really? I think we got it. Einstein's got a pee. Einstein's got a pee. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I mean, and, I, and like I said before, because if people were jumping all over me because they didn't actually watch the video, um, Frankie being non-binary actually was a, the only choice I could see that actually made sense. Yeah. That one made sense because, you know, you're made of different parts of different people, one, which they stressed. That one was, that was a good, it was good um change however i think in the original frankie was probably made out of mostly people. yeah so that's probably why well mostly because yeah. you know back when that show came out people weren't so obsessed with pronouns yeah but also because frankie in skull shore she has the head which i'm talking about og frankie. i don't really care um, they can stick it uh frankie it's like a big point that she looks like the scientist chick that yes. adam liked and Adam's the monster dude, by the way. And, and there's, like, a theory that, like, she actually does have the scientist chick's head. So, you know, there's... That's why she yeah. looked the way she looked and he liked her. And, yeah. um, yeah, we watch... Actually, growing up, Pinky Boo watched all the shows and movies. I watch pretty much all the shows and movies with her. So it's funny to me when people are like, well, you're just a parent. You don't even... You probably even watch the shows. Yes! Yes, watched them all! Watched all the movies. Bought all the dolls. Yeah. I could... First doll was stupid. Mm-hmm. And that was because of your mother that you got it. So anyway, so there's Frankie. Now, Draculaura, we're going to take a look here. Draculaura. Uh, I have to keep scrolling down here to find her. Draculaura. Yeah, Draculaura is, is... Did I pass kind her? of a bench. Draculaura's not sweet. I don't see it loud. And Draculaura, yeah, you... Oh, here, there, there's she's Draculaura. There. Draculaura is like, oh my gosh. And now she's a um, witch. Yeah, she's a witch. But the problem is, is that... The school frowns upon witches for some reason. Even though there was witches in the original. Yes. They hate humans Castus and they hate Spella. witches. Castaspella ditched Jackson Hyde, kind of made that clock. Ca- was it Casta Fierce? Casta. Casta is She-Ra. I keep doing it too. It's Casta oh, Fierce. Sorry, Casta Fierce. I don't know where I'm getting Castaspella. Ca- she I don't watch she No, but you've um, heard me mention it. Casta Fierce. She slays. I have a doll. Um, but she, um, they keep, it, what I've noticed throughout watching the movie is that Claudine, nerdy, half human, half monster thing. And I'm like, who does this remind me of? Maybe a certain character who they lost the trademark for? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Jackson. Yeah. Well, because in the original, um, we had Holt Hyde, which turned into... Um, Jackson, Jackson Jekyll, wasn't it? Yeah, Jackson Jekyll. And 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 that's the thing. His monster form was Holt, and his human form was Jackson. Yeah. And so now we're just using that with Claude. Which, by the way, here's the original. You see, here's here's original Abby, who was awesome. I have a cosplay. Uh, oh yeah, right now they got rid of Claude and Halloween and all that because now uh, Claudine's an only child, Spectral so all her sisters. Movie. What was her other sister's name? Her older sister. Uh Oh, I can't remember. Claudia. Claudia, yes. They got rid of all her, her siblings. Um, Dracula, they kept the pink and black, but they made her like Harley Quinn for some reason. 
you know, Frankie, dude. But that she did, like, like the bat wing cape that Dracula had. That was cute. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing I, I noticed, like, her outfits kind of reminded me of Dracula. But there was too much black. Yeah. Like, she would have worn more pink. Like, she had black accents. Always had black accents. Always black in her outfits. But she wore more pink than that. So, yeah, that was the thing. And also, Gulia lost. Look at that. I can't see, see cherry there's top. the glasses though, that they had on Abby, like that, but they're white. Yeah, exactly. And uh, then Deuce. Okay, well, beyond that. So now, so they're changing so much of this show. It's ridiculous. Like, Deuce was always with Cleo. Well, now they broke up, and now Deuce is with Claudine. Yeah, and also Laguna is best friends with Cleo. Oh, let's talk about how bad Laguna looks. Oh, God. Laguna looks like Doja Cat strapped strictly at justice. Okay, here we go. There's, here, I'll show you a whole nummy finder. Yeah. Right there. That is nothing like Laguna. Like, oh, I, I'm going to say something very controversial. I like Laguna's outfits. I think they're cute. I would wear them, but they're not Laguna. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I her agree. outfits, some, well, some of the outfits, like, I'd wear those shoes. I'd wear her blue platform shoes she wears at the end of the movie. I'd wear that outfit that she wears at the end of the movie. But she's just not Laguna. <laughs> it's not Laguna. The well, we right with a bite. Well, right at the beginning, she's BFFs with Cleo. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the original, she was in, like, the new Ghoul at School movie they had for Frankie. She was like, ah, oh, Frankie, well, stay away. Why am I? Why am I? I can't so, accent. I'm sorry. Um, Frankie, mate, gotta stay away from Cleo. She's bad news. Frankie doesn't listen. It's gone. But here's Deuce. Yeah, he wears he wears a beanie now because he has killer hair. I'm like, Deuce in the original could let his hair out. No, it's called they want to save money on special effects. It is. I, well, I mean, they obviously saved money already. <laughs> it, it, it's just, yeah. Some of these just don't translate to live action. I'm sorry. And here's Cleo. Well, no, th this could definitely translate to live action. They just had to do it right. Cleo, she was like, oh, you're going to catch my bandages on fire to Heath. Like, I could, I didn't, until like she happy. said that, yeah, until she said that, I was like, like, right before she said that, I thought that they got rid of the bandages element of her outfits. They kind of did. It's, like, all blue. Yeah, but they're bandages, but it doesn't look Leo. Well, let's see what people are saying about this besides, besides us. Well, it has a 3.8 out of 10 on IMDb. Um... One star, 400 votes. Wait, let's see who give it 10 stars. 10 stars, uh, 127 votes. Let me look here, demographic. Um, yeah, wait, hold on. Where are the reviews? Let me click on it up here. So, Freaky is no longer fabulous. That, that is a good one. Whilst this movie, in a technical sense, isn't terrible, the newest revival to the Monster High franchise tarnished the like. My biggest gripe with this movie is the characters. The Monster High fans is 2012, uh, 2010, 2012. Um, it's hard to let go of the childhood nostalgia. They, of course, needed to freshen up their outfits, the hobbies, and overall. No, so no, they didn't. They really didn't, because everyone's like into that Y2K stuff now, right? But even then, it's like they—they're not like since they're monsters, you know. And it hasn't aged poorly at all. No, it like it really hasn't. Um, they, of course, to fit modern trends. I were watching. Big bad Claudine Wolf in purple sneakers and awkward and awkward mom length skirts made me turn off this movie before even hitting play. Claudine was known for her leopard print fits and heels up to the heavens. Realistic for a fifteen year old? No, but no one is watching this for realism, but rather an escape. Yeah, here. Just one but critical fail. This is pretty fine musical and school story it, it, with a teensy bit heroic student friends, huh? Not too much as origin, but not far from it. Characters are very similar. Good choice here. But my only critical minus is Claudine. She's half human. Hyde is half human. Um, oh, this one rocks. Transports viewers to a fantasy adventure where capturing the essence of a typical high school, but way more exciting. Yeah, you didn't watch the original. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think they knew what the original was. So this is just everybody like, oh, no, it's getting voted down. Quick. Quick, send in the, send in the people to vote it up. A fun little Halloweenish musical. Better than I expected. Oh no. See, yeah, so now. You can tell by the first sentence they've never watched the. So basically, they're sending them all in to vote it up because it was getting voted down. So then we go over here to. to uh, 
um, Rotten Tomatoes, sorry. And it's 54%. There's only two uh, critical decider, a shallow sw- swamp content to slosh around in. Basic ideas about self-acceptance, diversity, accepting others, different beliefs without ever being particularly substance- substantive. I can't read today. Catchy songs and fun dance numbers. Okay, so the actual criticism is talking about how, oh, the plot's not that good. And the other one's like, catchy song, 100%. Yeah, pretty much. And I mean, yeah, it's, they're talking about, like, but yeah, the bad things are witchcraft and humans. Witchcraft and humans are the devil. And then by the end of the movie, it's so dumb. They suddenly just decide for like, it, 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 it happens so quickly. Well, yes, we're going to change all our views on these that have been around for hundreds of years simply because Claudine, you know, stopped the bad guy. So now our, we're changing all our views on everything. Thank yeah. you, Claudine. Yeah, and like, okay, so uh, there was a reason I thought Comos looked so similar to Jackson. Like, I literally thought he was Jackson the first time I saw the post. So did I. Yeah. It's because he basically is. He is Jacqueline Hyde's son. Jacqueline Hyde's evil. He makes a potion, turns you full monster, but it also makes you, like, mega monster. So he's like, Claudine, no, don't drink the potion to turn into a full monster. Be yourself. Give me the potion, because I'm like you. She gives him the potion. Stupid. And then he (laughs) drinks it. Like, (laughs) what did you think was going to happen? He was going to be good? No. This is a... No. Um, So, he drinks it, turns into a mega monster, and then we get the quickest villain takedown ever. She turns into a human because her boyfriend, Deuce, gets turned into stone, and Draculaura... Gets her no, it was bat Cle- powers? Cleo, Cleo. Well, yeah, she got hers drained, too, but Cleo gives her a phone. Gives Claudine a phone. Yeah, um, well, Dracula got her powers drained, too. And Cleo gives Claudine a phone, and Claudine goes up to the dude. She's like, hey. And he's, like, looking at her. He's like, huh, I have your friend's powers. You know what powers I have. And she's like, yeah, I do. And she looks away, shows the phone in his face, and he turns himself into stone. And literally, he wasn't even all powerful for like five minutes. Yeah, that's it. For an hour and a half long movie. At the end, and then everybody gets their powers back, and then she thinks she's being sent home because she's part human. But no, 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 you you were... The school wasn't threatening you. The school was threatening the teacher, so now it's all good. It's all good. So now we know we're wrong. And, you know... And you, the, you the, the the stories about the friends we make along the way, and now we all love humans, even though we've had all these years of bigotry. But we now love humans because you know. Yeah, I um, I just also they like start the movie with Claudine in the skate park because she has to run away from the humans, but then they just drop the skating thing. Throughout the entire movie. Right. Like, it's only so they can be like, oh, big reveal, she's a furry. She's a skater girl. Anyway, even though she's not really. Okay, so here's some of the reviews from here. We're going to have to probably wrap it up here pretty soon. But yeah. uh, I hate how they changed everyone's personalities. Plus, the costumes look straight out of Dollar Tree. Did they even try? I've seen cosplayers have better costumes, which is what you said. When you saw the, when you saw the movie, you said cosplayers do better. I, I literally saw a TikTok the other day of somebody putting on makeup, like Scare Screams, and it, she looked exactly like Scare Screams, and she was using her own resources. She didn't have $30 million to spend. Yeah, and then, is that how much they paid for this? Please say that's not how much they paid. Right. Oh, I don't know, but that's a lot, whatever this was. It can't be that much. It's not good enough for that. Was it $3 million? And, it, well, it can't be, it can't be 30 that's right. This, this movie was nowhere near that. So they said that basically, like, you know, t- yeah, I agree, times change, and that's okay, but this, parents, if you want your children to watch this movie, don't make them watch the original um, yeah, it's, it's cute, Helene, for film for kids. Okay, again, stop with that bullshit. And they always point out the good music. Yes, they sound like a freaking K-pop group, but that's not the point. It's the plot. Where they didn't, I think they just put the musical in there so people would be like, good songs. It has good but songs. But we need but to focus on the plot. But it's for the children. The it's Beatles for the children. have a good plot. Just saying. I grew up watching Monster High, and I like the older movies, and Dolls better, but this... This, for this being the third time they had tried to bring Monster High back, it's not too bad. Eh, I wish... Actually, this last reboot was better. 
I wish they wouldn't have changed the story so much or how the characters look. I'm glad younger generations would go from Monster High. Younger, younger generations and could. I'm so tired of it. Like, you can still pull up, like, the entire series is on the official Monster High YouTube. Frankie was pretty funny with the high five. Okay, the high five thing was pretty funny. That was funny. For uh, explanation, Frankie was confused, and uh, Promo, Co Comos was like, okay, just put your hands together to high five. And they were like... Oh, okay. So they, and they put their hand. To, no, they weren't clapping. They put their hands together, and then they went. Oh, that's right. They clapped. Then they, they did just rubbed rubble. them together instead of an actual high five. Yeah, that was actually pretty funny. That was. Funny. I will give them that. So, like, I'm an old school fan of the original, so I was really looking forward to ha having this live action. Um, I must have been the G3 version it was really refreshing. I no, don't awesome. think so. Be unique. Be yourself. Be a monster. Well, that's always been the message. That's nothing new. My childhood is down the drain with this. The costumes don't work. The background characters are horrible. That's true. They, they were. The painting on, the body painting on these people looks awful. Especially he. It looks really he bad. He looks like those Trump memes from 2016. No, he's more yellow, isn't he? No, everyone was calling Trump orange. It's bad. And, and I was like, oh my God, this looks like the Trump memes from when they were all calling him Okay, I read his orange because the people, yeah, it, it's pretty bad. Um, the worst movie made by Nickelodeon. I grew up watching the original, and let me say, disappointed. The accents are off. The costume designs are dated and cheap. Claudine is supposed to be a fashionista. Frankie's supposed to get with Deuce. No, she wasn't. Frankie was like hitting on Deuce a little bit, but they got over that quickly. It's Cleo and Deuce. Yeah. So anyway, it's a thing. Would you watch it again? No, but <laughs> I am going to stay logged into Paramount Plus so I can watch the. <laughs> but I'm not watching it again either. And now there's a new cartoon coming out, and the cartoon looks like they're Monster High Middle School, um, <laughs> or sixth grade. And it's just, you know, but it's for the kids. I'm so tired of hearing that. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. No, that's just a cheap excuse to reboot something, to, to make it, like, juvenile and shove agenda into it, and then say, oh, but it's for, it's for the new generation. It's for the kids. 4D's nuts. It's not 4D's nuts. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> so I'm the target audience. I can say whatever I want. That's right, you are the target audience, and then they, but they'll probably tell you you're not allowed to have an opinion. You're, I'm just you watch. Anyway. Well, it's the ahead. target audience kids. Me? No. Oh these other people? I know, right? Watching it. Why are they leaving good reviews? You're not allowed to have an opinion. You're not the target audience. Yeah, you're you're not allowed it goes to watch both it. Ways, just saying. Oh, there is this. You're my kid. I can tell. Woo! Right. Oh, this, oh wait, that's a tie five. Let's do it. Let's do it Frankie's way. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. So again, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.